September this year, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan went to the UN General Assembly in New York. We saw him speak. He was pumped up, seemingly armed with newfound vigour. He wanted to send a message to India and the entire Muslim world that a new front was in the making. A new Islamic channel propped up by Malaysia, Turkey and Pakistan. Now, three months down the line, Imran Khan is flattered to the signs were ominous in New York itself. Imran Khan went to the UNGA to the Saudi on the Saudi Crown Prince's private jet. Such was the bonhomie with the Saudi Kingdom at the time when he went there. But by the end of the week and the end of the conference, Imran yes, Khan and the Pakistani Prime Minister's poor diplomacy pulled the plug on their jet. Saudi Arabia is Pakistan's biggest benefactor apart from China. Pakistan's economy is on life support and it's the Saudis who have been breathing life into it for the most part. Imran Khan can do absolute cross. He must apologize for lapses and that's what he was doing this weekend. A hurried last minute one day visit to Riyadh for damage control. The result is this. Pakistan is pulling out of the new Islamic front that it promised. Imran Khan will not attend the first Malaysia. summit of this proposal. The cancellation is last minute. He was supposed to be in Kuala Lumpur on the 19th and 20th of December. Clearly, it was the Saudis who cracked the whip. They are not happy with this entire exercise, the so-called new front. It is being seen as an alternative to the OIC, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. The OIC Saudi Arabia is the de facto head. So the new Malaysian-led front poses a challenge, some say, to Saudi leadership of the Muslim world. The summit this week will host 400 Muslim leaders, intellectuals and scholars from 52 Islamic nations. Pakistan, though, will be absent. Imran must to go to the Saudi leadership, but they had none of it. We understand that Imran Khan has conveyed Saudi Arabia's reservations directly to Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir bin Mohammed. After all, the Kuala Lumpur summit is his brainchild. The summit's guest list indicated a clear preference for Muslim states of a certain type and support themselves as champions of global Muslim causes. No wonder Saudi Arabia sees red. As for Imran Khan, he was in Bahrain on a two-day visit then. He attended the National Day as a guest of honor. The aim of this visit was to explore ways of getting support for his economy. And that, in a nutshell, explains his sponsor billboards on Times Square for false propaganda on Kashmir. They can maliciously instigate mobs to attack the Indian High Commission in London. They can be perpetual thorns in the side, but the moment they try to grandstand, they're lenders like Saudi Arabia.